So one of the things that an infinite mindset provides is, um, is a is sort of a, what I would call a, a, a quiet confidence or a calm confidence. So for example, if I were to tell you there's going to be a massive snowstorm or a massive hurricane in, in next Thursday, you're right. All right. It's going to be awful. It's going to shut down work. Not going to get to work. I may telecommute. I may take the day off. It's definitely going to hurt a lot of companies, right? It's going to hurt if you're in a, it could destroy a farm, right? Um, but we've had lots of hurricanes. We know how to deal with it. We know how to prepare for it. We know there's going to be a short term hit and we kind of like, we know how to ride it out. Right. Well, most of us live 70 to 80 years old. Imagine if we lived for a thousand years, this would be like the sixth or seventh pandemic right. that we faced in our lives. It, we know it's going to hurt. We know it's going to, but we know it's going to be over and we know, we know there's going to be pain and we know how to prepare for it. Yeah. So what an infinite mindset provides is it helps you see what we're going through now, not as the end, but rather just part of the journey. Like it's, a, it's, it's, it's hard and it's difficult, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We're in darkness, but we, we know this comes to an end. We also know that life will not be the same afterwards. This is like World War II. It's like the way life was before World War II is not what life was like after World War II. The way that life was before this pandemic will not be what it's going to be. When we talked about going back to normal, there is no going back to normal. Yeah. As, as a friend of mine called it the other day, which I like, we're going back to abnormal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it will be different. We don't really know how. But this is what's really important to remember is this is uh, not without precedence, which is we have gone through things before that have shaken the business world, sometimes forcing companies out of business. What do you think the internet did? I mean, the internet, you know, put a lot of companies out of business who couldn't adapt to a new business, to the new change. Um, and it created new businesses. And some businesses were for, forced to adjust, some proactively and did very well, some defensively, and they're still trying to figure it out. Streaming put all video stores out of business. Didn't have to, but it did. Starbucks, when Starbucks would come into a neighborhood, people would complain that Starbucks would put mom and pop coffee shops out of business. Actually, the data shows the opposite, that when Starbucks moved into a neighborhood, um, mom and pop coffee shops actually did better because it brought customers and people had a groundswell for the, for the local business. The ones that went out of business were the ones that couldn't adapt. Mm -hmm. They still had that old ripped up couch because they had a monopoly on coffee shops. And when Starbucks came in with nice clean stores, they simply complained about Starbucks and they went out of business. It's like taxis complaining about Uber. An app doesn't put you out of business. You can have an app to hail a taxi. Yeah. It's because you have, a, 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 you have to adapt for the changing times, for new technologies, new companies, new competition, new ways of doing business. And if you don't adapt, you die. Now, that's not universal. Some companies like video stores, some companies, this is just too much to bear. And, and there's, there's very little we can do. But, but, but to think of this in terms of what skill sets do we have? What is our why and how else can we bring that to life? It's, this is way more sudden than the internet. It's way more shocking. It's way more unnerving, but it's not new in business. We know how to do this. I read of, uh, I'll tell you two stories. There's, a, there's um, a restaurant in New York City called Res Dora. It's a pasta restaurant. It's a relatively new restaurant. It's only been open about nine months. So they're still, on, you know, they're still making a name for themselves. Mm. And of course, when New York City issued the order that restaurants could only be 50%, these guys... Uh, saw the writing on the wall. They could see that this is going to get worse. Right. So they immediately started to adapt their company. So instead of firing, uh, firing all the waiters saying, well, we don't need waiters anymore, they changed everybody's job. So all those same waiters are now packaging food and organizing online orders and, and call-in orders, which by the way, they had to develop. This is a, a high-end restaurant. They didn't deliver food. They had to immediately figure out how to do that. Mm. But the point is, is everybody kept their job because they changed their jobs. Yeah. So just as the company had to adapt, the people had to adapt as well. The people who said, well, I'm only a waiter. Well, I got no job for you. Yeah. And so what we're experiencing even in our own company, which is we're forced to adapt. We, you know, we do live events. Well, that doesn't exist anymore. So if I have somebody on my team going, I'm only going to do live events. Well, I got none for you. Right. <laughs> so we have to adapt as individuals as much as we have to adapt as companies. I tell you of another pizzeria in Chicago. Of course, 70% of their money came in from selling slices. Well, that's done. Yeah. Not sustainable. Yeah. 
So what they recognized is they have assets, they have resources, they have a pizza oven. And so what they, what, what they did is they started ordering medical grade, um, industrial grade plastic that their oven was hot enough to heat. And they started making face shields to sell to hospitals. Wow. So they're using their pizza oven to make face shields because they can get a, the oven hot enough to b- melt the plastic. Wow. I mean, genius. Yeah. Now, when this is all over, they may go back to selling pizzas or they may have two businesses. Yeah.